little baby <laughs> coming out to say hello to the other dogs, but she's so little, so we're going to be really careful and I've got to supervise. The dogs are all trying to climb up on me. <coughs> yes, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. I know. But we're, we're looking at the way. We're looking at the baby. <coughs> careful, baby. Careful, baby. Put her up there on the bed so she doesn't get trampled. Oh, you climb down all by yourself. You gotta be really careful when you're out here with the big dogs. Yes, you do. You have to be careful, you'll get stood on. She wants to play with them. Is that right? Look at you, you're so tiny. Hello. Oh, Bronte, stop barking at me. I'm ignoring her, so she's barking at me. Everyone's jumping on my arm. All right. Well, put you away before you get trampled, hey? Before you get trampled. It's your daughter, Charlie. Yes, it is. Oh, let me get back up again. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Be careful, there's a baby behind you. Don't stand on the baby. G'day guys, welcome back. It's pouring day. We're going to pour our little hearts out. Uh, now, before I get started, I'll show you the one that I did the other day. Uh, the sandwich pour. It's much bigger. Let me see if I can actually fit it into the screen here. I'll move everything out of the way. There it is. It's all dry. Looks beautiful. Love sandwich pours. Uh, I'd like to try a sandwich pour with black though and some really bright colours, maybe neons, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens, but that's it there, all dried, so there we go. Uh, put it out of the way. Moving on to today's little plan. It's just a little canvas. I want to see if I can get some <clears throat> quality over quantity, some gorgeous little cells. Um, I'm using the Montmartre. No black today, just blues and greens. So that's the white. Uh, this one is turquoise. Now this one here is mainly turquoise and it's got a little bit of oh, phthalo blue in it. Uh, this one is the phthalo blue with a little bit of black to make it nice and like a navy. And then we've got the light green and then the teal, which is the phthalo blue and the phthalo green mixed together. So those are my colours. Uh, pouring medium is the 60% Elmer's glue oil and 40% water. So, you know, six ounces, four ounces, 60 grams, 40 grams to make up your pouring medium and then equal parts of pouring medium to paint. So in here I've got 50 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint, and we're leaving a mound on a mound. My paints are getting a little bit old. There's a bit of a bit of dry blobs and things in some of them, especially the teal. The teal, oh, the teal's gonna be quite blobby, I think. Oh, there's, oh, look at that, there's a blob. Look at that. I will try to get them all out, but I couldn't. I'll just have to, I'll just wipe my hands. I'll just have to, um make up a new batch yeah the paint just gets a bit old and then it gets kind of crusty around the top of the the jar because I put them in these so it's pretty much it's it's empty now so I'm kind of scraping the sides and I think I'm getting some little dried bits which I shouldn't be doing but anyway if, if we get lumps I'll just I'll just pick them out uh, anyway we'll see how we go <laughs> Alright, uh, treadmill silicone for cells. I like the spot on. Let's do four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Try and spread them around, don't drop them all in the same spot. All right, there we go, that's our oil in. Let me move these big bottles of paint. I'm just gonna do a big, a one big flip cup today. But let's just mix this oil in. Get it off the stick, mix it again. So I've gone dark light, dark light with my colours. Um, I've put the white between two semi-transparent colours. And so I've sort of gone semi-transparent, opaque, semi-transparent, opaque as well with my colours. This one's semi-transparent, the white's opaque. This one here is opaque. And then back to the semi-transparent. So I'm trying to do that as well. And you just get your better cells if you can layer it that way. Light and dark, semi-transparent and opaque. You get a better result. Right, so let's layer these babies. I'm going to try for three layers this time. Actually, it's such a deep cup. I'm just going to pour it in down the sides because the paint has to drop a long way down so it's probably going to make like go straight down because it is such a deep cup but I thought I'd better have a big cup because I've got a lot of paint here there's 500 grams of paint the canvas is a 25 centimeter by 30 centimeter oh there goes another lump oh, gosh um yeah 25 by 30 I think it's like um 10 by 12, I think it is, in inches, if I know my conversions. Oh, I'll just keep layering. We might end up with, oh gosh, look at all those lumps. Yeah. <laughs> How many layers is that? Oh, this is the third one. Okay, so I'm probably going to get four then. The white, I did add an extra dollop of white paint just because um, the white tends to get lost, I've noticed. So if you've got white in your flip cup pour and then at the end of it you think, oh my gosh, where's all my white gone? It's probably because you just need to make it a little bit thicker. It's same with metallics. Metallics are quite difficult to, to use. You tend to lose them as well. The metallics need to be mixed thicker as well. Need an extra like 10 or 20 grams. Probably one and a half times paint, I guess, to pouring medium. Rather than equal parts if you're doing metallics. Do you hope it fits in? Look, I've got just enough. Hopefully I've got just enough space. So lots of paint will give you, hopefully, cross fingers, a good effect because then you don't have to stretch as much. I don't know if I've mixed that in properly down there. Yeah, so if you've got a, a nice, decent amount of paint, um, you don't have to stretch everything as much, which means your cells will be prettier. For those that like cells, that want to get cells, lots of paint, don't skimp on it. Because if you don't have enough paint and then you have to overstretch everything to get to the sides of your canvas, you're not going to be happy with it. And then you kind of feel as if you have to do it again and then you've wasted all that paint. So just make up a bit more paint to begin with that you can actually use to tilt everything around and, and cover your whole surface. You're better off having more than not enough with these particular techniques. Let me just clean my hands. Alrighty, now, look at all that. That's a lot of paint, isn't it? I know, it's probably too much. But, actually I'll put it up there and then I can just flick it down. I may flick it down and then do a little bit of a movement, like a flip and lip, with the lip of the, with the lip of the cup. Righty-o. I haven't done just a one cup pour for ages. Hope it's going to work. 
got my little corner catcher organized if I want to use that on the corners. It's just a piece of cardboard that I've cut. I've got my palette knife to pick up paint for the sides. All right. Are we ready? I'm going to stand around this way so I can pull down. Um, so I think I'm going to just flip it over and then, I don't know, we'll see. We'll just see how it goes. Like that. <laughs> Okay, well, that's what I've ended up doing. You can't plan these things. They just happen. Let's put some paint on the, the corners. Kind of went a bit deep there with my lip of my cup. I could feel it scratching the, um, the canvas. And I thought, oh, gosh, I went a bit deep. I just wanted to sort of skim the top and throw those out. But it didn't really work that way. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. I've got all that paint. I'm just going to wet these sides, make it easier for my paint to flow with the edges nice and covered. Right, now, do I want to torch now? I think so. Let's torch now and stretch those cells out. Hey, where's my torch? Oh, there it is. Oh, right over there on the back. Okay, here we go. Make sure I'm getting far enough away. I've got a new can of butane on, so it's um, it's pretty powerful. It's taking my time, not getting too close. I don't want any clusters and I don't want any caterpillars so I'm just going to be really careful about where I torch. You can always torch again afterwards, like after you've stretched everything out, you can torch again and get some more cells. Alright, let's see what that looks like. These lime green ones coming through there those are so pretty that's really dark just there <laughs> all right those are so pretty okay here we go I don't even know if I'll need the corner catcher we'll see what happens I probably will uh, all right I was gonna go this corner first but I can't tilt towards me I'm gonna use the corner catcher I'd rather keep as much paint on the surface as I can Just works out better that way into the corner back again you can always tip that off later on some of that off later on if you don't like it so basically cover all your corners first and then look at your composition afterwards and decide what you want to do oops got nothing to hold on to and then the next corner go in there Come back. Okay. Oh my gosh, those colours are divine. Take your hands around so that you don't drip. There's this bit here that's kind of a little bit dark with no cells in it, so I'll probably tip some of that off. But let's just walk the paint down. Actually, this is going, look at that, as I'm walking it. I don't normally do this, but I want to try and keep some of that paint from falling off before I, I'm ready for it to go. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Oh wow, look at that. All right, now I'm going to go over here. Mm. I might try and get some rid of some of these. All right, I'm going to go all the way over there now. It's tricky when you have to get to your last little corner. Into the corner, back, tip, then let go. Otherwise you lose too much paint. 
Wow, look at that. I can see a blob under there. I might have to just try and get that. Just there, there's that blob of unmixed paint under there. I'll just take a tiny bit of off there. There we go, it's gone. It's gone. Wow, what do you think, you guys? Now I'm just gonna center, because over here these cells are quite big. Look at those cells, though. they've got lime rings around them. I'm just gonna bring the paint to over here a little bit and just, Um, what do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do. I probably don't want to do anything. I'm just going to try and open up the centre a little bit and yeah, move that down a touch. I don't think I'll torch any more. I'm, I'm really happy with that. What do you think? Look at my hands. Let me take these off. Uh, do I need to, actually, I'm just going to run my fingers underneath just while I've still got my gloves on. Very messy, but it's fun. Put some on the corner there. And under here. Just get all that drippage off so it doesn't continue to want to drip off. And because it's heavy, it drags all the other paint down with it. Oh my gosh. Look, I even got paint on my hand, even though I had gloves on. I must have had a little tear in it. Alrighty. <clears throat> oh, love it. So do you like the the movement in it? We've got this roundish sort of area in the center, which is quite dark, which is pulling the eye to the center. And then we've got like this bit of wavy movement around. I love it. I don't know about you. I love it. Rightio. Let me take you down for a bit of a close up. And, um, check out the cells all right here we go look at the colors in these babies I love the pop of lime and has my white white hasn't got lost I can see some white in there how about we do it again and we don't do the um, the flip and lip we'll just do the flip cup and then we don't get all these ribbons, I guess. That's what I wanted to show you. Look at those cells. They've got the lime around the outside. And then they've got, oh, gee, I can't see through here. Anyway, there's a few different colors. I love the pops of lime. There it is again, look, with the lime. I think it's got the lime, because you know how I lay it at lime next to the teal? So it's got the lime, then the teal, then the, the lighter blue next to it. And again, see there? The uh, uh, You know how I was telling you the um, that turquoise colour was the opaque? So we've got the opaque ring around the navy blue, which was the semi-transparent. So we've got the two separate colours there. If you have two transparents next to each other, you won't see the rings like that. Which is probably what kind of happened in there. Can you see like down deep in there? It's like a, it's the teal next to the navy. So you can't really see those cells. You really need to have your opaques next to your semi-transparents. There's another corner. There's so much to look at. Love it. All right. Well, let me know what you think of this one. Uh, I'll take a photo and put it up for you, whether you like the ribbons or not. Um, and then, yeah, maybe we can do it again without the flip and lip and just a normal flip cup and see what the, the difference is. Hey, Should we do the same colours again? I love these colours. It's my favourite. Favourite. It's inspired by that one up there. See that one up there? That one was done oh, a while ago. That was a bigger one though. Oh, it's, it's a bit bigger. But yeah, it's really pretty too. <laughs> That's just some of my some of my paintings. Okay, um, back to this one. Right, 
I have to stand this way so the ring light's not in the way. Righto, I'll leave it at that. Thanks ever so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Okay, bye for now.